Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and it is a truth universally acknowledged that... Right, I can't think of anything clever. Jane Austen July. It's a readathon hosted by Katie from Books and Things and Marissa from Blatantly Bookish. And I was only recently made aware of it when I uh, happened across their TBR videos for the month. So obviously I'm going to take part. It's called Jane Austen July. Do I need to say more? I will link to their announcement videos and their TBR videos in the description box, so go check them out. They have a lot of really good recommendations in their videos. I'm not planning to do all of the challenges, mostly because I am in a bit of a reading slump and realistically I won't get through them. So I've picked out the ones that really interest me. The first challenge is read one of Jane Austen's main six novels. Now, two of those novels, Persuasion and Northanger Abbey, are on my TBR for my 1818 project because they were both published in 1818. But I'm not going to pick one of those. In fact, I am going to reread Pride and Prejudice. Well, I say I'm going to. I've already started. Both Katie and I believe Marissa as well recommended the audiobook that's currently available on Audible. So that's the one I'm, I've downloaded and that's the one I'm currently listening to. Pride and Prejudice, it just it has to be one of the best novels ever written. I love this book so much. And with every reread, it brings me new delights and new joy. And if you've never read any Jane Austen book, that's the one you want to start with. The second challenge is read something by Jane Austen that is not one of her main six novels. Now, I don't know what other works are out there. I know there are some unfinished works, but the thing I might look into is some of her letters. I believe there are some there that are available to us. So next time I'm at my university library, I'll have a look at those. Third challenge is read a nonfiction work about Jane Austen or her time period, the Georgian or Regency era. For this one, I've actually got two books. Um, the first one is this called Behind Closed Doors at Home in Georgian England by Amanda Vickery. Uh, I've admired Amanda Vickery's work for a while. She's written some really good um, books and articles about the Georgian era. This one is one I actually picked up for my PhD research, but I am just going to count that for this challenge, because why not? The other book that I'm planning to read is called 1815 Regency Britain in the Year of Waterloo, and it is by Stephen Bates. I've got the audiobook of that. So that just sounds like a really interesting uh, snapshot of a specific year and what Britain looked like in that year, influenced obviously by the Napoleonic Wars and other things. The fourth challenge is read a modern retelling of a Jane Austen book. Now this is one where I don't have anything um, lined up. If I come across a book that fits that criterion, then I will read it, but at the moment there's nothing that jumps to my mind that I really want to read that is a modern retelling of a Jane Austen book. I have read Bridget Jones's Diary and I didn't like it. Maybe that slightly put me off. The fifth challenge is read a book by a contemporary of Jane Austen. Uh, I've already mentioned my 1818 project and the novel I'm currently reading for that is The Heart of Midlothian by Sir Walter Scott. I'm reading that on the Kindle and Kindle tells me it's going to take me about 17 hours to get through that. So I might not finish it in July, but it's definitely, I'm definitely going to count it for this readathon as well. Challenge six, watch a direct screen adaptation of a Jane Austen book. As if I need any other excuse to get my DVD of the 1995 six hour long adaptation with Colin Firth and Jennifer Ely out. Uh, I think I shall do that as soon as the Football World Cup is over. The seventh challenge is watch a modern screen adaptation of a Jane Austen book. I'm guessing that means an adaptation for something that's inspired by a Jane Austen book. So I have watched the, uh, what's it called? The Pride and Prejudice uh, YouTube adaptation. Uh... Oh, the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. I watched that. I also watched the one for Emma. I'd be up for finding another YouTube series like that. I quite enjoy those vlog style adaptations. So if there are any Jane Austen ones that you recommend, comment below, let me know about it. If not, I'll, I'm sure I'll find something. So this was my TBR for Jane Austen July. 
if you're interested at all, join in. It sounds like a very doable readathon. And um, as Marissa and Katie pointed out, the most important thing really is to just pick up a Jane Austen book and read it. If you've done that, you're taking part in this readathon. I'll be uh, following their progress throughout the month and I'm very excited about this. I feel like after June, which was very modern for my reading, after June I'm really craving some good 19th century classics. Thank you for watching. Bye.